Hi, Lisa Papp here. Today we're going to paint snowbirds. So we're just going to start with an oval. Okay. And off of that oval, another oval. That's going to be the body. Just simple. Okay. And snowbirds have a sweet little beak, a strong beak. It's strong because they have to crush sunflower seeds. They like sunflower seeds. Okay. And his eyes going to be about right here. So snowbirds are those sweet gray birds, gray and white birds you see out your window. And their real name is the dark-eyed junco, but people call them snowbirds because, at least in eastern Pennsylvania, they show up in the fall in November, right before snow. And so when you see them, you know snow is coming. So if this is his front, snowbirds are gray and white, and they look like someone dipped them in cream, so their tummies are all white. So we'll just make little... This will be the gray area, this will be the white area. Got little feathers, soft little feathers that blend into the white. And we'll give him a little wing here coming off. Little feathers on his wing. Okay. That goes behind him there. A nice little tail. Tail just looks like a triangle, upside down triangle. And we'll say this little guy is just sitting on a twig. And birds have three toes in the front, one in the back. Okay. Shape, give him a little better shape there. Okay. Alright, let's give him some color now. So the gray of a snowbird is pretty cool. I'm going to mix some burnt sienna, and cobalt blue, and his head is all gray. Fill that in first. Not his beak, his beak is lighter. Okay. And his little front is gray here. Then this area is white, so I'm going to leave that alone. Okay. There we go. And his little tail. His tail is gray, but it has two white stripes here. In here, so when he flies away and you see those two white stripes, you know you're looking at a snowbird. They're really pretty, very, very pretty, and playful. They like to chase each other and have fun at your feeder. They like to eat off the ground, so if you're putting sunflower seeds out, be sure to put some on the ground for the snowbirds. Okay, so now we'll add a little more shadow to him. Still just using burnt sienna and cobalt wood. And we'll just give him where we think it's going to be. The sun's coming this way. We'll just give him a little more shadow here. Okay. Just soften that a little bit, blend that out. Okay. A little 
shadow under here, shadow under his beak, under his wings. And under his little cheek. Okay, I'll get a little smaller brush for his wings. And snowbirds get along with everyone. They'll be right next to the chickadees and the tufted titmice. They're just happy little birds. Go. Maybe his wing tucks under there. Okay. And a little more shadow here. Down on his tail. Okay. So his white parts will be a little cooler. I'll just put them, maybe they go. Yeah, something like that. And you can blend that out or just leave it. Like so. And his beak, the snowbird's beak is just sort of a light, very grayed pink. And put that in, get that light so his face is darker. And his eye is dark. Remember his real name is the Dark Eyed Junko. And when you paint his eye, just leave a little highlight, a little white space. The surfaces that are moist or wet will reflect the light like an eye. And you can just play with how much shadow you want to give him. I'm going to give him a little more shape over here. A little more sunshine on him. His wings are sometimes a little darker, but for now, let's give him a little twig, and I'm using just the same colors, burnt sienna cobalt blue, a little, going a little warmer on this one for the twig. Simple, simple to do. He looks pretty good. So if he was in the middle of coming at November, which he does, we would paint a nice snow around it, but since it's spring and he's getting ready to go back north because it's too cold for him, or too hot for him here, he has to go back north. We're going to give him a nice bright sunny day to travel by. Give him some nice bright blue here. Give him a good sunny day. I'm always sad to see them go, but I'm happy also because I know it means springtime is here. And when winter's coming again, he'll be back. And the Mr. and Mrs. look the same. There we go. Safe travels, little snowbird. See you next year. Thanks. Thanks.